What comes next in the series of patterns? The first and second figures are identical in shape, size, and orientation. They differ just in the pattern. The horizontal lines on the right half of the first figure have turned into vertical lines in the second figure. Applying the same rule, the third and fourth figures will have to be identical in shape, size, and orientation. They shall differ just in the pattern, whereby, horizontal lines become vertical lines. This tells us that we can safely rule out option D as an answer. We can rule out option B as well. Its orientation is different from that of the third figure. The correct answer is option C. What comes next in the series of patterns? The first figure is a half circle. It has a pattern comprising slant lines inside of it. The second figure is a full circle, with the exact same pattern as the first figure. The third figure is a half triangle with its own pattern inside of it. Hence, logically, the fourth figure should be a full triangle that has the same pattern as that of the third figure. The answer is option B. If you like the content so far and would like to see more of this, please like this video, share this video with friends and subscribe to this channel. Moving on. What comes next in the series of patterns? The second figure is obtained upon rotating the first figure anti-clockwise by 90 degrees. Applying the same rule, the fourth figure will be obtained by rotating the third figure anti-clockwise by the same 90 degrees. The answer is option D. What comes next? Pause the video if you'd like. The first and second figures are identical in shape, pattern and orientation. They differ just in size. The second figure is a smaller version of the first figure. As per this logic, the fourth figure will have to be a smaller version of the third figure. With this, we can safely rule out options A and C. Between options B and D, while both the squares are smaller in size, only option D preserves orientation as that of the third figure. The answer is option D. Last question. What comes next? Again, pause if you'd like. The circle in the first figure transformed into a square in the second figure. The circle's diameter is equal to the square's length. In other words, the two shapes are similar in size. The shades within them are identical. Applying the same rules, the circle in the third figure should transform into a square. With this, we can safely rule out option B. The circle's diameter should be equal to the square's length. Essentially, the two shapes should be comparable in size. This condition rules out options C and D. Easy. The correct answer is option A.